All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 livery tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to create a livery and how to navigate the files for adding that livery in and stacking them. So there's going to be basically two halves to this video. The first half, I'm going to talk about how to create a livery. And then the second half, I'm going to talk about how the files are structured and how to stack liveries one on top of another so you can have multiple liveries in your simulator. Now, if you would like to have a bunch of liveries all in one, I recommend you go watch my last video and uh, install my Mega Pack, which I'm installing a bunch of uh, different liveries that people are making. And it's just a drag and drop uh, pack into your files. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is um, a couple of downloads. So if you look in the description, there's going to be two uh, downloads. The first is going to be the liveries template. OK, and what that is, is basically uh, similar to my Mega Pack. Um, it is a template with one aircraft in it that you can edit and put a skin on, a livery on. Um, and what that is, is it looks like this. It's a file that you're going to drag into community. If you don't know how to do that, watch my last video. You're going to find your community folder. It's wherever you install Microsoft Flight Simulator. You drag that in, unzip it and drag it in. We have it here. OK, now if we go inside, and uh, we can see layout.json. Make sure you remember where that is, right in the root. Then we can go further into the A320. And we see aircraft config. Take note of that as well. And then we have texture.template. Now, template here can be renamed to whatever you want to call your livery. Might be Delta, Spirit, whatever. Right now, it's put in as template. If we go into template, we can see there's five DDS files. You can use your favorite DDS editor for these. I use paint.net. You can also use GIMP. You can use Photoshop. Um, so if we select these five and we open up paint.net, we can drag them in and click open. And those will open up and you'll see that these are the base um, livery skins. So you can see this is the wings. You can see the wings right here. Okay. You can see the engine cowlings are right here. You can see the nose right here, OK? Different parts of the nose. Um, these are the uh, vertical stabilizer, the rudder, parts of the vertical stabilizer, uh, more parts of the vertical stabilizer here. And then, of course, some lettering that goes on the vehicle, on the aircraft, excuse me. It is late. So you may be saying, well, how do I edit this? Now, in paint.net, if you're familiar, I'm not really going to delve into it. It's kind of out of scope. Uh, but you can add layers and draw on top of this, change opacities, whatever you want to do. In order to know where things are in the livery, what you're going to want to do is go into the second download link, which I need to find where that is, right here. And we can make this small. And if we look, we can see I have six files. Now there's going to be three files in what you download. They're PSD files. I've gone ahead and converted to DDS, so I can use them in paint.net. But if you have Photoshop, those will work just fine. Now I can drag these in and open them up. And we can see here um, a lot of guides. So you can see the belly is here, the landing gear doors. You can see the vertical stabilizer, the fuselage, things like that. Um, the engine cowlings, of course, um, front cowlings of the engine, right? All kinds of stuff like that. The winglets are right here. Now, if we zoom in, we can even see, you know, sort of an outline. You are going to have to do some trial and error with this, um, but basically you, sh you should be okay after a couple um, tries. And of course, what you can do, you can create a layer. You can color it however you want. Um, I'll just give you an example like this. And if we have the opacity down, you can still see the stuff as you're coloring. And then when you're done, after you've covered it all up, move up your opacity, it blocks it out, and you're good to go. Um, that is a little out of scope. If you want to learn more about how to actually draw on a skin, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about that. Uh, this is more about the file navigation. So once you've edited all these five files, however you want to edit them, um, and done your you know first iteration of your skin, we can now minimize this and get rid of our templates. And what we're going to do is save those. Now, those will save directly into here. If you want to make a backup of these, I recommend it before you go and edit it. Then you can drag them right in here and replace these files. Um, that is all you need to do. If you then go into Microsoft Flight Simulator, 
which we can see here. And we go to your hanger and liveries, you're going to immediately be able to see the template. Whatever you have, it'll be, when this loads, it'll be here. Um, there is a thumbnail of a Delta aircraft right now. That's just what is the thumbnail. You can create a thumbnail by doing the following steps. What we're going to do once you have your livery, let's go to the options, general, and you're going to switch developer mode under developers to on. You're going to go to dev mode. Okay, you're going to go to new project, just like this. Click OK. Then click the plus. You're going to type in any kind of letter here. Um, in the tutorial, I had an F. That's what I do. Hit create. Now, if you don't see this window here, it is under Windows um, Inspector, I believe. Uh, or View. View Inspector right here. View and then Inspector. Okay. And you can open that up. Now, one thing I forgot to do, you're going to hit Apply and Save. And then go back. Go back to your hangar. And switch your view. And click Capture Aircraft Thumbnail. That's going to ask you where you want to save it. You're going to choose wherever you want to save it. Hit Select Folder and it will capture the thumbnail for you. Okay, it'll be a PNG, wherever you saved it. What you're going to do with that PNG, if we minimize this now, you can close this out and hit close and hit no. That'll still save even if you hit no and we can minimize. Um, what you're going to do, these two thumbnails right here, you are going to open these up in paint.net or you can just replace them direct um, although I do recommend opening these up, if we make this small, and sizing your thumbnail correctly by dragging it in. This is a little out of scope again, um, but just look up how to resize images. Uh, you can create a layer, drag it in, um, not expanding the canvas size, and then make it the same size as this, is what I recommend, and then the same for the large and save those and those will be your thumbnail okay um, after that uh, we're going to kind of move into part two um, of the video but we'll be learning how to rename <coughs> rename your aircraft and um, modify the files but that is all you need to put an aircraft in modify these textures how you want them and then every time you modify them restart your game okay and uh, you'll be good to go so in part Two, which will be in the same video just after this. Uh, we're going to look at the files if you want to rename your aircraft and then also if you want to merge more aircraft into this folder. Alright, welcome back to part two. So what we're going to do now is figure out how to rename our template. And what we're going to do is go in to the A320 under airplanes, okay? And just before you see texture.template, you're going to rename texture.template to whatever you want to name it. So let's say we want to call it Delta. Okay. Go into aircraft. Okay. And we're going to scroll down. And you're going to see FLTSIM.4. And you'll see template. We're going to re we're going to put in Delta here. This is the important line texture. Whatever you put under texture, so texture.delta, you want it to say texture dot you're going to want it to say delta right there okay and then you can uh, rename this delta airlines etc and so on okay now if you want to add an additional aircraft onto this let's say that you have another folder called texture dot spirit you're going to copy this right here and paste it and rename this to number five or whatever number and then rename this and of course rename this let's say it's spirit you're gonna do spirit okay and rename everything just like that I'm not gonna save that because we're not actually doing this but that is how you do it now if we go back there's one more step to this and that is in the root remember layout.json you're gonna open this up for editing 
and in layout.json you're going to see all these lines that say texture.template. Copy from the comma all the way down. Now, if you're just renaming, you're going to go in, you're going to rename all these to Delta, right? Pretty simple. If you want to add an aircraft, you're going to go down, paste that in. Okay, what I like to do, I leave a couple spaces, paste it in so I know where it starts. Let's say we have one called template, one called spirit, whatever. You're going to rename all these templates here to spirit. Make sure there's no comma at the end, and then once you're done, remove all this white space here. Okay, just like that. And you're going to save that. I'm not going to save it at this point in time. Once you do that, um, if you have your folder, your two folders, and you boot it up into Flight Sim, you have to restart the game. You'll see both models there. Okay. Um, so basically, the three things that you need to do, create your texture folder with everything in it, the modified five DDS files, modify aircraft.config to add an additional entry, and then, of course, modify layout.json to have your additional entry or rename it. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to modify the liveries. All your liveries must go in one folder, something that looks like this. Okay, um, right now only the A320 is what we have done, um, but this is a real big special thanks to all the guys who figured this out. Speed M, um, a big, big, big thanks to Zionix, um, to all the skin creators, QWE. Um, who have created these skins. Check them out. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one.